Siem Reap, Cambodia. It's a city well known for its temples that are visited by tourists in their hundreds of thousands each year. Tourism is vital to the Cambodian economy and particularly so for the city of Siem Reap, one that's best known for the temple of Angkor Wat. Angkor Wat is the central feature of the Angkor UNESCO World Heritage Site, which contains the magnificent remains of the Khmer civilization. It's Angkor Wat's towers that drive Europeans, Americans, Japanese and Australians to visit in record numbers here each year, filling up the city's four and five star hotels. One of the biggest challenges for those hotels is finding quality staff to man them. And in recent years, that's been the job of the region's hotel schools, which train young Cambodians to be some of the most friendliest hotel staff in the industry. One hotel school leading the way in Siem Reap is Salabai, which was founded in 2002 by the French NGO Azipour Le Combodge. It's a free school and each year trains 100 young disadvantaged Cambodians to the four main professions of the hospitality industry. Restaurant waiter or waitress, cook, receptionist and housekeeping attendants. The 100 that are accepted are chosen from over 700 applicants every year and preference is given to girls, making up 70% of the annual intake. In a country where 30% of its population is living below the poverty level and where qualified employees for the hospitality industry are in such high demand, more needs to be done. That's why by 2016, Salabai's goal is to increase the annual student intake from 100 to 150. A fifth department, spa and beauty, will be added to fulfill the growing and more specialized needs of luxury hotels. To get to that position, Salabai needs backing and since 2007, HM Magazine is proud to have helped make this happen. Each year at the HM Awards, we ask hoteliers, suppliers and the greater industry to dig deep and sponsor a student for $1,000 each, which helps cover the training fees and daily expenses, including lessons, school supplies, books, uniforms, accommodation, food, bicycles, insurance and medical expenses. To date, close to $200,000 has been raised for the school at the HM Awards, the equivalent of training 100 students for a year. To put that in perspective, over the last 11 years, 1,003 students have graduated from Salabai, including 315 waiters and waitresses, 316 cooks, 260 housekeepers, and 112 receptionists. They all found employment after graduation, enabling them to achieve economic independence and improve the living conditions of their families. Thanks to these young trainees and the direct impact on their families, more than 5,500 people have benefited from Salabai to date. One of the graduates to have shown how far Salabai students advance in the industry is the reservations and revenue manager of the Raffles Grand Hotel to Angkor, Kim Siang Song. Because this is something more than what I expected. And I think it's also opportunity plus luck. Because I just, when I saw the hotel, because the, I told you I was a farmer, so I never see a big building. I saw a hotel, it's like a three star, two star. I always say like, wow already. And when I come to the Grand, which is one of the top luxury hotel in the destination, it's like, no word to describe. Kim's family story is one heard right across the nation, and he's doing what he can to help the family going forward. Well, I, we, I am in the family of four, including my mother, because my father left me since I was young, like two years old. He was forced to leave because of the Khmer Rouge. So my mother, she has no education, so she fit us with her energy, using her energy, power, uh, not by using her knowledge. So this is different thing. And uh, my two sister, uh, they have to quit the job, uh, sorry, quit the school when they were like grade five and grade nine, because they have to find a way to leave. And then I was the one 
who my mother support a lot for the study until I finished grade 12. And then I applied to Salabai. When I heard the, the, the broadcast through the radio, uh, they need to you know the, 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 the student, so I apply here. Yeah, that's, that's how it happened. He started on an entry-level position and has climbed the ranks within the hotel. We have three people. Uh, we had a contract was like uh, one month, one month, one month. So when low season comes, uh, because in the hotel they have high season and low season, so they have the contract three months, six months, one month, you know. So three of us, which they need to select. So two of the boys, when they got the news that two will be go, uh, will be gone and then only one will stay here and then uh, I think they just get nervous and then they don't really have motivation to continue the job meaning uh, when they come to their shift they didn't come to work so at one point I think I worked like uh, from 6 a.m. in the morning until 6 a.m. In, uh, in the morning again so because two of the boys they're supposed to replace me but they didn't come I think that's how, that's how I get a chance to, to work here. Kim's goal? To be a general manager one day. I, wanna, I wish to be a general manager one day, uh, but I'm sure it needs a lot of experience, education, and of course, right now, I think, I, I think I'm going to the right track, but I still miss a lot of part to become a general manager. From my hometown, me. When the air is so thin